first flights are always something to celebrate. And we are celebrating another one right now. A test flight of our Embraer 195E2 using 100% sustainable aviation fuel. Today, the most environmentally friendly biofuel on the market, certified for commercial use, is a blend of 50-50 Jet A and SAF fuel. But today, we are testing 100% SAF. And this pure SAF is going to deliver the greenest, most sustainable power in the world. Our test flight proves that our airplanes are ready to transition from traditional carbon fuel to SAF fuel. My role and our team is to continuously monitor the parameters de funcionamento do motor abastecido com 100% SAF. Vez que o combustível 100% SAF está adaptado à aeronave, não tem diferença alguma voar com SAF ou voar com combustível regular. É, o piloto praticamente não percebe. In most cases today, um, the feedstock that's being used to generate uh, kerosene or Jet A that we typically fly it is coming from fossil fuel. It's, 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 we're poking a hole in the ground and we're basically taking the dinosaur juice and converting it into the fuel that's being burned and it emits carbon dioxide. In, in the case of the sustainable aviation fuel, we're taking a different feedstock, we call it. So uh, a feedstock that absorbed carbon dioxide during the generation of it. Uh, be it agricultural waste or um, vegetable oils or a plant growing or, or even in the case of what we're using now, animal waste. So the net carbon balance is reduced, in our case about 60%, and in some cases we're targeting up to an 80% reduction over a fossil fuel feedstock. I'm excited to be a part of this test because, let's face it, the impact of climate change is undeniable and you don't have to go far to see or feel the effects firsthand. My role in today's milestone was to work with the engineering teams at both Pratt & Whitney and Embraer to define our requirements to verify engine performance and operability characteristics, which is another way of saying that the engine behaves the same way regardless of what type of fuel we put in there. É fazer vários testes e análises para se certificar que o combustível novo não gera nenhum impacto, por exemplo, no sistema de indicação da aeronave, na, no sistema de alimentação dos motores e também análise de compatibilidade de materiais, já que esse combustível vai estar em contato com todos os materiais dentro do tanque. SAF is the best alternative uh, to reduce CO2 emissions in the uh, short and medium term because it doesn't change the infrastructure and it is actually compatible with aircraft as, as we saw today and compatible with the entire supply chain. So the cost to uh, introduce SAF is much lower than, for instance, hydrogen. So as the industry needs urgently to start reducing CO2 emissions, SAF represents actually the best alternative, the most cost-effective alternative for now. So with all this challenge uh, that we live today, replacing a larger wooden body, for instance, by an E2, you can save up to 30%. That's the, the uh, let's say, the easiest way to reduce emissions. But if you combine that with the use of SAF, for instance, you can reduce the total emissions by up to 85%. And, and that's the um, I believe the, the best alternative that we have for the short and uh, medium term. I look back on the work Embraer started nearly two decades ago. Today, here we are again, on the cusp of a new era in aviation with jet aircraft, powered by 100% SAF, and this means sustainable flying for all of us. But even more important, a green future for our children and for Mother Earth.